Well, it's another day at Cafe Joshua. We're getting ready to get lunch out to the folks out front. And uh, we've got some students and Chef Marie over there working to finish up lunch right now. Uh, it's a little bit different than it used to be. We're not serving inside, we're serving outside now, so it's hot meals to go. Cafe Joshua has been the heartbeat of the Lord's Place for over 25 years. It's a place where people know they can be welcomed, they can be greeted, and they can be accepted for who they are at that moment. And it is that starting point that allows them to then be connected to our outreach team so that we can continue to encourage them to know that they're worth more than what the streets have to offer. And so the cafe is the place where that conversation begins. So since COVID, um, one of the most interesting things that's happened is that we were forced to relocate Cafe Joshua to, to an outside tent. But what hasn't changed is the soul of the cafe. The tent just represents another way of service for us. Our homeless outreach and engagement team goes out onto the streets, meets folks where they are. They meet them where they are emotionally as well as physically. They um, bring life-saving supplies to folks that are living out on the streets. They are bringing water, food, hygiene products, clothing, and so they are really a lifeline of what we do here. So our homeless outreach team is really unique. We are comprised of um, peer specialists and they have lived experience. So with their lived experience, we can connect in ways that other people cannot, and it's all about building those relationships and building trust. So once that trust is established, we're able to pick people up and move them out of homelessness. Well, the challenges of, of outreach and engagement is that everybody that we come in contact with is at the height of their crisis, and everybody's situation is different. But, um, you know, to have to leave someone back out on the street when you leave them for that day, it just weighs on your heart sometimes. That, that's the biggest challenge, that we don't have immediate housing right away for everybody who's experiencing homelessness. I think the reason that um, some homeless individuals are reluctant to leave the street is because they've been promised so many things throughout the years. And, and it takes that, that trust building and that rapport and that kindness. See, the Lord's Place engagement team, what we do is we make sure we follow up to build that trust. And then eventually, it might take a month for somebody to come around, it might take years for somebody to come around. But we just continue to be persistent and resilient in our engagement, and we, and we do our best to build those relationships in the community. Our outreach team never gives up. That is the hallmark of what they do. They go ahead and they meet people, whether it's one time or a thousand times, to get that person connected, to change their trajectory, to change their journey. And they are the most dedicated, compassionate group of people that I have ever had the privilege to work with. Homelessness is something that can affect everybody and anybody. It can strike at a moment's notice. Um, it can happen to your friends, to your neighbors, to your family members, to even to, to ourselves given the right circumstances. And homelessness is not something to shy away from. It's something to come out and, and be part of the solution. And that's what we're doing here. We're, we're finding ways to be part of that solution, to break the cycle and to help so many people that find themselves in these very difficult and unprecedented times.